welcome back so in this video i'll give you a more detailed description of the all the documents you require for your student visa application and so in the previous video part one of this series i discussed list of documents and sort of the timeline uh, you should apply your visa well enough and so on but now it will be a very very important video for all the required documents a more detailed uh, discussion step one create your application online via avarts uh, then print it sign it in my previous video i told not to forget print and sign especially sign then next step is arrange your documents your arrange your appointments with vfs global they are the one uh, you should uh, submit uh, and, uh, and they will send your documents to uh, New Delhi visa office. And finally, you wait for your visa uh, outcome. Right now, when to apply? I told it you should start like 12 weeks uh, prior to your application. Right. So, as soon as you have your offer and your supporting documents ready, you can uh, start applying with the VFS. Now, financial requirements. So, this is the main sort of document for student visa application. So, students must show that they will have the required finances to support themselves for the full duration of the course and without dependence on casual employment in Ireland. So what it means? It means that let's say your course is one year in Ireland. Now you have to show to the office officer that you have the money to spend for your living purposes as well as your study purposes for the whole one year in Ireland. So we know that you can earn some money based on uh, the part time work permit you will be given when you are in Ireland as a student but they don't, they, they don't want that uh, they don't want you to highlight that that like if you write in your uh, if you write in your uh, SOP or uh, like cover letter that I will be doing part time job to support my st study then that will not be accepted your visa will be refused. So that means that you have to show you have to provide all the proof that you have a sufficient amount of money to uh, stay and st study in for the whole one year in Ireland. All right. So yeah. And if you are taking a multi year course two, three and four or whatever that at time of the visa application, you show immediate access to the course fees and cost of living expenses for the year one plus ready access to the required amounts in both categories for all subsequent years. So course fees. Uh, so basically what they are saying that uh, if you are choosing for uh, two or three years uh, course then uh, or four years course you have to provide uh, you have to provide that that you have sufficient amount of uh, uh, finances to support the whole course duration duration of your course and the course fees so your course your course offer letter will provide the information about the on the level of the first year fees that you have required to pay and when the payment is required. So unless your provider requires a full fees payment prior to visa application, you must show the following. So if course fees are 6000 euro or less than 6000 euro you must pay them in full before your visa application purpose so if your course fees is 6000 euro or less than 6000 euro you must pay the full 
course fees before your visa application purpose and you should provide a proof that you have you have paid this amount to the university and if your course fees are more than 6000 euro then you must pay at least 6000 euro before your visa application okay so this is the details of your course fees related uh, requirement for this prior to your visa application and then next is cost of living expenses you are required to show that you have sufficient finances to reside in ireland as a student without depending on the casual employment so remember this fact that they are highlighting this fact that you your uh, study or your living should not be dependent solely on your um, part-time work permit part-time work in ireland so given the fact that you have independent way of finances to stay even if you cannot do a part-time job suppose you are sick or you have some sort of accident uh, so that you cannot work so in that case your um, study and your living should be um, uh, spent completely on the independent finances you are providing so you are required to show that you have sufficient finances to reside in ireland as a student for the entire duration of your course without depending on the casual employment this is known as your cost of living expenses so this is has this has nothing to do uh, about your earning from part-time job in ireland the cost of living threshold is stated on the irish immigration home page and i'll give you a link of this uh, page the threshold can be met by the personal or sponsored finances using accepted financial evidences outlined under section 6 of that uh, in that page which i'll give you again a link of the section below you can uh, have a look now next is financial sponsorship anyone offering financial support to your studies in ireland is considered a sponsor and must consent to the sponsorship via your financial summary form see in section 7 uh, again you you can see this form in detail in the link description i will give you the link in the description or via a separate signed application okay now point 6 is financial evidence personal and sponsored finances can be evidenced in many ways such as bank accounts fixed deposits accounts loans bonds provident funds etc we do not accept market linked funds such as crypto so we means uh, this irish immigration or irish embassy do not accept market linked funds such as cryptocurrency stocks shares or mutual funds and nor do we accept gold valuation or cheat funds like they do not accept any gold or silver or platinum or this kind of jewelry uh, so on or cheat funds so you cannot uh, submit those kind of uh, documents as a proof of your financial evidence if you wish to have a gold valuations considered the gold must be liquidated into a bank account so this is a point or convert it to a gold loan so we recommend that you simplify your finances as much as possible having your finances financial evidence spread across multiple sponsors and multiple holdings increase the risk of refusal due to the due to unclear finances evidence consolidate your finances where possible so they are saying that you should not send them a multiple sort of uh, financial sponsorship that will make uh, the application more complicated and sort of more uh, sort of uh, confusion confusion um, among a within the uh, embassy uh, the officers and so on 
so they are asking to make as simple as possible uh, your financial evidence okay and remember applicant must submit six months of their own bank statement plus six months of any declared sponsor so basically the person who are sponsoring you uh, and yourself all of their six months last six months bank statement must be submitted and then verifiable income tax return acknowledgement should be submitted for all appropriate parties so if you are not working uh, then your income tax return document is not uh, going to submit it you do not need to submit but if you the sponsor uh, for example your father or mother or anyone who is sponsoring they must be working right they should submit their income tax documents and so on next point is 6.1.6.1 in the document student loans if you are availing of a student loan then you must submit original documentation in relation to that loan the sanction letter on its own is not sufficient where property is guaranteeing a loan the deeds of that property must be submitted where the source of funds is the sale of an asset example house or land evidence of the sale must be submitted so uh, this is um, you understand right the guarantor of the loan is a sponsor and therefore must be declared in the financial summary form the principal amount loaned to the applicant must be consistent consistent with the ability to repay based on the existing income levels and the terms of the loan potential income increases cannot be considered for the availability to repay the loan so it means that if you are having taking some loan then you have to provide proof that the loan can be repaid based on the present income you cannot argue that i'll uh, our income will be increased and we can pay no that is not acceptable and then education bonds education bonds such as edu bond are accepted as a as long as the source of the fund used to pay for them is accounted for so yes there are some education bonds you can also that purpose i'll an education bonds or something like that so you can go that go with that okay now point 7 this is the main sort of document i i believe in the student visa application form the financial summary form the financial summary forms seeks to provide clarity to the visa office in relation to required finances and assistance to the applicant in structuring their financial evidence so this is the main document you i am telling you again you must show the visa officer that okay these are the funds i have or i i i i have and i can i can support my living expenses and my study expenses in ireland for one year two year three year four years or whatever number of years you are going to study so that's the at bottom line okay processing time the processing times uh, you can see in the website now number 9 the appeal process where an application is refused and the rights of the appeal is granted the appeal must be submitted within the 2 months of the initial refusal date so let's say your visa is refused then you have 2 months to uh, appeal why and so on please note that due to incoming application application volumes student appeals can take longer to assess than the initial application so it means that if you appeal then your appeal reply to your appeal may be longer than the initial time when you apply for the visa it may have so application should focus on submitting a quality first time applica- application as there is no guarantee that then an appeal will be processed the time of your course date starts so they are saying that when you are applying uh, for the first time you make sure all your documents are nice and clean as uh, because the appeal may be longer uh, i mean assessment of the appeal may long may be longer in uh, process and maybe your course has started in ireland so that's why they are suggesting so finally i am su- summarizing your um, all the documents you need to submit 
number one is uh, avards application form the main application form visa application form signed and printed all passports missing passport must be fully explained why your passport is missing letter of application statement of purpose outlining the reasons you selecting ireland and especially in that particular university and especially why is that course uh, and you should make clear that uh, your background is sort of suitable to study that particular course and so on you have to highlight that otherwise uh, if they do not find any link of your previous background to the thing you are going to study in Ireland, they will straight away reject your uh, student application form, student visa. And then uh, and uh, in, in your visa cover letter, you must, uh, must say to the visa officer that after completing your study, you will, re you will return to your home country and you must uh, you must uh, show that in what way you will you will um, you will implement your uh, skills which you will acquire in ireland while studying to your home country i mean it is not uh, it is there is no sort of law in ireland like that but when you apply for the student visa you must um, say to your visa officer that you will return your home country this is sort of a formality uh, okay if you do not uh, intend that you will not return to your home country then your visa will be also refused and rejected uh, okay now uh, next is course offer letter from the university evidence of uh, a course fee payment including electronic fund transfer all previous qualifications documents including certificates and semester mark sheets and so on english language test results evidence of required finances that's the main document private medical insurance so you must take some medical insurance uh, uh, before uh, uh, before uh, applying your visa okay so there are like study protect lot of insurance companies uh, are ireland swiss care and everything uh, for example, I'll suggest Swiss care, they are the cheapest. And then financial summary form, and then police clearance certificate. And if you uh, if you were refused visa previously from any other uh, country, then you must uh, uh, original refusal letters and everything. So all this checklist, all the documents, uh, I mean all this discussion, I have discussed from a uh, visa application page I'm, I'm going to give you uh, the link of this document so I believe if you follow these documents then you don't need to um, go to any visa agency or anything like that you can do on your own okay but I mean even if you like um, go f to a help to visa agency and if you cannot provide all these documents your visa will be rejected simple as simple as that but if you give all these documents very carefully, meticulously, minutely, very carefully, and uh, then nobody will, can reject your visa. I can I can guarantee. All you have to follow all the steps uh, by step. Uh, things that all the documents you need are discussed in this uh, two-page document. Okay, and you must read like ten or twenty times before you start preparing all of the documents. So thank you very much.